So this is just an update to the video I made yesterday in which I benchmarked Black Myth Wukong on my Linux PC. The game ran fine with my RTX 3060M GPU, but today I learned about a DX11 mode that's supposed to be more performant, especially for older GPUs. Out of curiosity, I tried it out, and the results were shockingly good. First, let's enable DX11 mode. It's simple. Go to the Benchmark Tools Properties window, add dash DX11 to the launch options, and that's it. Now, as you can see in the graphics settings, ray tracing options are grayed out because DX11 doesn't support it. Also, if you set super resolution to FSR, frame generation disappears. I guess FSR 3's frame gen doesn't work in DX11 either. Strangely, if you set super resolution to TSR, frame gen reappears. Since I don't like frame gen, I won't test it here. For comparison, I need the exact same settings as my DX12 test. So, I'll set the graphics preset to medium, enable DLSS performance mode, turn off frame gen, and use 1440p resolution. Let's start the benchmark. The difference between DX11 and DX12 is huge. With DX12 I got around 50 FPS, but now I'm hovering around 70. Image quality looks identical to me. Interestingly, GPU usage is 95 to 97 percent with DX12 but always 99 percent with DX11, meaning my GPU is maxed out only in DX11 mode. Another massive difference is VRAM usage. It's 6.3 gigabytes in DX12, but over 8 gigabytes in DX11, almost a 30% increase. System memory usage is also slightly higher in DX11. Some people reported more stuttering with DX11, but my frame time graph looks fine. Minimum and low fifth FPS are acceptable. I think people with 8 gigabytes GPUs might experience frame drops because DX11 uses more VRAM, leading to unstable frame times. My 12 gigabytes GPU avoids this, but that's just a theory. The reason for the big DX12 versus DX11 difference is complex. Since I'm using Linux, it might be related to VKD3D, the NVIDIA Linux driver, or even my desktop environment. In my experience, DX11 always performs better. I saw similar results in Baldur's Gate 3, Control, and The Witcher 3. So if you don't care about ray tracing, especially with an older GPU, try DX11. In this case, DX11 lets me use a higher preset for similar FPS on my 100Hz display. This is exciting news, so I want to share with you right now, and I can't wait for the full game release in a few days.